In this lesson, we will explore SEO strategies. In the beginner SEO lesson, we covered various steps to improve your site's SEO. One of the main points we highlighted was that search engines like quality content, knowledgeable, reliable, and trustworthy content. Also remember to install and activate an SEO plugin such as Yoast, RankMath, SEMrush, All-in-One SEO, or SEO Press. This tutorial will delve into more techniques to drive organic traffic. Number one, develop a content strategy and target specific search phrases for better SEO. A content strategy helps you plan and consistently create valuable content. Start by researching what your audience is searching for using tools like Google Keyword Planner. Then create content that answers their questions and solves their problems. For example, if your site is about gardening, write blog posts about seasonal planting tips, pest control, and for example, DIY garden projects. Also remember to use your keywords naturally in your titles and the first 100 words of your post or page. Here are a few other tips to take into consideration when doing keyword research. Firstly, long tail keywords. When people search online, they often use specific phrases to find what they're looking for. These are called long tail keywords. Instead of broad terms like healthy smoothies, long tail keywords are more specific, like easy strawberry banana smoothie recipe. Long tail keywords are specific phrases that have lower competition but higher intent. By targeting these specific phrases in your website content, such as blog posts or product descriptions, you can attract people who are looking for exactly what you offer. To do this, research the specific phrases your audience uses, then include them naturally in your content. Guard against repeating your target phrase too many times on a given page, as it can start sounding spammy and robotic. This helps search engines understand what your pages are about, making it more likely they'll show up in search results when somebody searches for those terms. Secondly, semantic search. Imagine you want to find related terms and phrases to your main keywords, just like looking for synonyms or related ideas. Tools like Google Keyword Planner, Ahrefs, or SEMrush help you do this by showing what words and phrases people often search for that are similar to your main keywords. This way, you can use those related terms to improve your website's chances of being found by search engines. Thirdly, let's talk about content gap analysis. So what is content gap analysis? It is finding out what topics your competitors are talking about that you aren't. By identifying the keywords they rank for on search engines, you can see which important subjects you're missing. Then you can create content about those topics to attract more visitors. The next topic we would like to discuss is site structure and user experience. Site structure involves organizing your website's pages and content logically. This organization helps search engines like Google understand and index your site more effectively. A well-structured site enhances user experience by making navigation easier, leading to higher rankings, increased traffic and better conversion rates. A good site structure guides visitors and search engines, helping them find and engage with your content efficiently. Your navigation menu structure should be clear, organized, and easy to use. Also, ensure navigation labels are intuitive, so users immediately understand what each link leads to. Additionally, on most sites, it's important to have a search box for users who prefer to perform a keyword search. User experience is how visitors interact with your site. Ensure your site is easy to navigate, that it loads quickly and looks good on mobile devices. For example, use a clean, simple design and clear menus and ensure all links work and are accessible. This leads to our third topic, improving page load speed and mobile optimization. A mobile friendly, fast website is crucial for keeping visitors happy and ranking higher in search engine results. People like fast websites, and since more than half of your website traffic will come from mobile users, optimizing your site for mobile is an important step for improved SEO. Let's talk about how you can achieve better page load speed. Compress images to reduce size 
and use browser caching to load pages faster for repeat visitors. And then use tools like Google PageSpeed Insights to check your site speed and get specific recommendations. Here are a few other steps to consider concerning mobile optimization. Number one, select a responsive theme that automatically adjusts to different screen sizes. Many themes in the WordPress repository are labeled as mobile friendly. Secondly, ensure your site's navigation is easy to use on a mobile device. Use clear menus and avoid hover only navigation as it doesn't work well on touchscreens. Thirdly, avoid intrusive pop-ups that can frustrate mobile users. And then lastly, regularly use tools like Google's PageSpeed Insights or HubSpot's Website Grader to check how well your site performs on mobile devices and get suggestions for improvements. Next, we move on to link building and having a backlink strategy. Backlinks are links from other websites to your site. They show search engines that your site is trustworthy. Link building is acquiring hyperlinks from other websites to your own. Here are a few tips you can implement. Firstly, quality content. Earn quality backlinks by creating content others want to share and link to. Number two, social media. Also share your content on social media platforms to increase visibility and attract links. Another example could be guest posting on other people's sites. It is therefore a good idea to guest blog on reputable sites in your industry or collaborate with influencers who can link back to your site. Next, we move on to optimizing internal links on your site. Internal links are like signposts within your website, guiding both visitors and search engines to different pages. Imagine your website as a city and each page is a building. Internal links are the roads connecting these buildings. They not only help visitors navigate your site, but also show search engines how your content is related. For example, if you're writing a blog post about healthy eating and mention vegetarian recipes, you could link that phrase to another page on your site, specifically dedicated to vegetarian dishes. This way, you're not only making it easier for readers to explore related content, but also signaling to search engines that the linked page is important for that topic. Finally, when creating content for your site, it is advised to generate human-made content and not rely on AI to write everything. AI is not meant to replace people in content creation. It should merely assist and enhance the process by providing tools and support for more efficient and creative outputs. Human involvement is crucial for gathering, evaluating, and verifying facts, always prioritizing accuracy and fairness. Create deep content that shows true thought leadership. By consistently implementing these strategies, you'll improve your site's visibility, attract more organic traffic, and establish your presence in search engine results.